Hello, everyone. This is Courtney, and today I'm gonna talk about British royal family. I believe everyone around the globe knows that the former monarch of England, Queen Elizabeth II, or we can use Her Majesty's full name, Elizabeth Alexandra Mary, passed away peacefully at the age of 96 in September last year. She had been the Queen of the United Kingdom and other Commonwealth realms since 1952, until her death in 2022. Based on her time as the Queen, like 70 years and 214 days, she was the longest monarch in England, and also the longest verified of any female monarch in history. After Queen Elizabeth. Death. She was succeeded by her first child, Charles, Charles, and now his name is Charles the Third. He had two marriages. The first one was with Diana, Princess of Wales. They got married in 1985. They had two adorable children, William and Harry, and now their names are. William, Prince of Wales, and Prince Harry. Unfortunately, they got divorced in 1996 due to Charles' affair with his second wife, Camilla. And because Charles is the king of England right now, Camilla is now called Camilla, Queen Consort. And now I want to talk about the successions of British throne. As we all know, after Queen Elizabeth II passed away, the throne was succeeded by Charles III. According to the law, the next one got the throne will be William, Prince of Wales, because he is Charles' first child, and by the followings are Prince George of Wales. Princess Charlotte of Wales and Prince Louis of Wales, they are all Prince William's children, and after them, the fifth one is Prince Harry, King Charles' second child. And there is one interesting point I want to mention. After Queen Elizabeth II passed away, British government has made some changes on some things. And one of them is about their national anthem. In the lyrics, "God Save the Queen" is now changed into "God Save the King," due to Charles' throne is on. And that is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your time, and have a nice vacation. Happy New Year! Bye bye.